Hello, I am Killercans from Killercans Gaming, and this is a video about transport fevers, signals, and waypoints. A question I get asked a lot from my livestream viewers is how are signals and waypoints used? So I put this video together to teach you how to use waypoints and signals to get your trains to where they need to go without getting in each other's way and causing a gridlock. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is there are only basic signals in transport fever. Early game we start off with the old semaphore signals, a horizontal alarm means stop and a diagonal alarm means go. Later in the game the semaphores are replaced by electronic light signals which function the same, red for stop and green for go. The positioning of a signal can dictate which way a train travels. For example on this double track I have placed my signal on the right hand side of the left lane from the train's point of view. This tells the train that it should drive on the left. Alternatively, if you prefer your trains to drive on the right, you can place your signals on the other sides of the tracks, like this. The area between two signals on the same track is known as a block. A signal will only allow one train to move into the block behind it at a time. Any other trains attempting to enter an occupied block will be held at a signal until the block is clear. Keep in mind which direction do you want your trains to travel while setting up your route. Trains can reverse through a signal unless you set the signal to one way. Waypoints are simply markers to guide a train along a specific route. Note that trains cannot stop or turn around at a waypoint. When setting up your route I find it handy to place waypoint markers at both ends of each platform on a station. This allows you to set which platform you wish the trains on the route to stop on. You can even use waypoints to set a route to turn off a main line and use a bypass. Now that we have the basics, let's see how we can use signals on a slightly more complex scenario. Here we have two double tracks leaving the station and a junction branching off to a train depot. One of the lines branching off crosses over the double track. We need to use signals to ensure that trains can navigate this junction safely. I have placed signals at each possible approach to the junction including from the direction of the train depot. If a block which crosses over another block becomes occupied, it will also change the block it crosses to occupied. Note that there is no way to set a train's priority. The first train to arrive at the junction will always be let through first. Anything that arrives after will have to wait if its path is being blocked. I hope you found this video informative and can use what you've learned to take control of your rail network. Have fun 